Hi there, and a very warm welcome to another interesting edition of Lifelines with Mima. Thank you for joining us today. We are still dealing with the issue of domestic violence and how it affects our society of today. Of course, you saw the couple that came in the other time with the wife battered and the husband also angry um, that his wife talks too much and therefore he needs to shut her up by hitting her. We've been working with them and things are getting better and we shall be meeting them again today. But before then, I want to give you a few tips. You know, many of us are going through abuse without even knowing it. The first thing is this. Whether it's a small one or big one, abuse is abuse. Many times we feel, okay, my neighbor's husband, at least he beats her blue black. My own husband only slaps me sometimes. It doesn't make it okay. One slap sometimes or serious beating can always grow into something bigger and more deadly. Another thing is the feeling of being trapped. You should know that you are not free. Once you begin to get the feeling of, okay, you don't have freedom at all to do what you want to do, to go places, you know, you should know that that is another form of abuse and you should be conscious of it. The next thing is um, this person tries to restrict your access to your people, your friends. They isolate you. You are not allowed to even go to visit your family members. Your friends are cut out of your life. This person maintains complete control of your life. Eventually, you become this passive person that anything that he says, you just say yes, just so that he does not beat you up. That is another sign of abuse. Another thing is that abusers are very intelligent people. So they know how to treat you when they know they've gone above the line. They become sweet and nice and kind and sorry for a period of time before they plan the next episode of abuse, before they plan the next reason that make them angry at you and they have them beat you up. You know, that is also very key. Another thing is this person restricts your access to money. It doesn't, it doesn't give you freedom to have money. You're not allowed to work, your business, even if you're doing anything. He's monitoring it closely and ensuring that you are not, you know, you don't have access to a lot of money at every point in time. That is another form of abuse. Another thing this person might do is to constantly chip at you, talk to you, making you feel worthless. He begins to tell you things like, if it's not me. Nobody will be able to live with someone like you. If it is not somebody like me, nobody will be able to manage it, your character. You are, you are a terrible person. Your mother didn't bring you up well. Look at how fat you are. See your body. You are very ugly. I'm even trying. See stretch marks everywhere. When this person begins to chip at your emotions like this and then begins to make you feel worthless and more worthless day by day, it's a big sign that you are going through emotional abuse. And so we are going to be talking more about this today. But um, before then, let's take a quick break. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Before the break, we were talking about the issue of domestic violence as it regards men that are being abused by their wife. With me now, I have Mrs. Evelyn MacArthur, right? I hope I pronounced that well. Uh, welcome, madam. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Sorry about the short notice. Um, I, I want to see how we can deal with this issue today once and for all. Okay, tell me, madam, what is the problem? I don't even know what the, the problem is. I don't even know why I am here right now. What infuriates you? What is the problem? Why do you hate your husband? I don't hate my husband. Why do you hate hey, him? This is 21st one. This morning you sat on my head and you are lying. No, oh, oh, you oh, are oh, lying. oh, oh, so oh. Hey. You told her I hate you, right? You, 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 you. Hey. Okay, madam. <laughs> okay. You, you see it? She has started boiling again. Calm down. I, I'm, Calm just down. Take, I'm just being mm. quiet too, because if I give her one, mm. because I'm just holding myself. I don't want to keep on. Give who one? Madam, uh, please, not here. Okay. Mm? Please, tell me what the problem is. Me, I don't have problem. Mm -hmm. But the only problem here is him. Mm. I don't know. 
I have never seen a man that talks like this man that calls my, himself my husband. Merua will pass. To, 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 to. Baro pusha. To, 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 to. Ah, okay, good morning. To, 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 to. You don't even need to ask him questions for him. Was, was, was it my fault? When I married you, were you like this? You were smearing. Now, you see, you are. Where are you talking? You are laughing. You are laughing. You are slapping me. You are. Hey! Why are you like this? Hey! You started, though. Start that what? Huh? You want to start again? Allow me to answer her. She asked me a question. Look at it. Let's yes. TV. Yes. Yes. Please, though, let me answer, answer you. Talk to I you. I am her husband. Yes. I am her husband. Hey. 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 She stayed. Hey. hey. See, woman. Hey. hey. Does he provide for you? He provides nothing. I do the whole provision and providing everything. When it comes to provide, I do everything at home. He does nothing. All he goes around is looking for. Looking for those small, 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 small guests hey! at his age. Mm. At his age, a man with a wife like me at home. Yeah. If we were me, will you blame me? No more affection. She had beaten the affection out of my body. So what would I do? What kind of affection? Hmm. Hey, easy. Not here, not on national TV. What kind I'm of affection are we talking TV? about? Hey, Mima. Hey, what, hey, Mima. what did you just do again? Calm down, calm down. Hey, Mima. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Talk to him. Who is it that you married? How did he did you know? This is not who I married now. Okay, so I don't even know how I married him in the too. first place. I love her. I don't even know how I married him. Yes, you married him because and I've been have, have, him. you have feelings for each other. So now let's find out where Fe we lost that. Hmm? Let's try and address it from the beginning. Where we lost it. Maybe you feel betrayed because he's cheating, and maybe because you feel he's talking about you too much outside. But the truth is this, there's no justification for you to lay a finger on your husband. It's considered domestic abuse and under the law, it is a punishable offense. And so you should be careful. And don't forget, these kind of small, small problems can lead to big ones. It, 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 can, it can be easy for the devil to come into play here. And you want to just I have a normal fight. The devil. Oh, hey. he, you can just lose him. One slap and he can just lump. No, no he can't in me. I'm just hiding so my body. Let's, so let's, let's be careful. We need to now deal with you. We are going to bring you in for anger management classes and try and see how we can control this emotion, control this anger and pain, and try to start your healing process. Hmm? But you need to agree to work with me. You need to promise me that you are taking responsibility for your actions as from this point on. And also promise me that this will not happen again. I cannot promise that for now. Unless if he's willing to change. He will change. He will change. It's not that I want to offend my wife. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am not always like that. Oh. Hmm? If she respects me and be submissive, we'll be living happily. When I saw you, I loved you. Mm. And who told you that I loved you? I who told you that I loved you? Well, madam, you are still with him. That tells me that you still have feelings for him. I... Madam. Um. Don't you still have some feelings for him? Isn't he still the love of your life and the father of your children? Well, right now, I don't know. Mm. Right now, you're hurting. So that's okay. But he loves you, don't I you? I love her. Mm. I love her. See? I he love loves her. me. And yet, he goes around. Hey, now, they so make the him. She has to reduce now. Okay. Okay. Apart from that, um, sir, losing weight, we have to do that together as a team. You don't talk down at her like that. You make her feel less important, and that's why she gets angry. So you work with her, help her, her diet plan, you exercise with her, slowly you guys will get there. Another thing is that if a man does not get respect in his home, he will go and get it outside. No matter how small a man is, you must give him due respect. Because that alone, you know when women say that man, man, a man is only sex that bothers them, it's not true. The number one need of a man is respect. And if you don't provide that respect in his home, he will go outside to get it. He needs validation. He needs to know that he's a man. He needs to feel so and be in charge of his home. You've taken that away from him. And that's why you are getting the worst of him. So these are the things we need to look at and, and turn this situation around. You need to look at where this started from. Of course, I know your marriage did not start like this. I know that things gradually did, got worse. And so let's go back to the beginning and treat it. But there are some basic rules before we start this treatment. We must both accept, take responsibility for our actions. You must acknowledge the fact that you have been abusing him, and that is not good. 
and that is putting your life and his life at risk. And that should not be tolerated at all. Of course, you also know the effect that this has on your children. You have to... You see to, what he's doing? You yeah. are talking that like he's doing... He, 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 would, hmm. he would come out of it. He will come out of it. But I need you to be the submissive wife now. The first thing you need to do is to apologize to him on your knees, as you have been brought up to do. At the end of the day, we are Africans and we are Nigerians. We have culture and tradition. There are ways things should be done. A man will always be a man. There's hierarchy in every area of life. So let's take it from here. As from today, things will be different. Okay? It's okay. Okay. So now, I need you to apologize to him. Am I supposed to do that here? Yes. Or when we get home? No, here. You start here. You continue at home. But let's start here. Let's take the first steps here. Okay. What will I say? You say you're sorry for everything. Is that all? Mm -mm. I'm sorry. No, not that kind of sorry. Like a real genuine sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. A real genuine sorry. He will first of all start doing what he's supposed he to would. do. He will. He will. We're working on both parties here. Hmm? It's just that but you're why the wife. But why did you ask him to apologize first? Well, no, you are the wife. And you have been the one that has been hitting him. So you should apologize first. Okay? <laughs> Please. Hmm? <laughs> He's still your husband. <laughs> He's still the love of your I'm life. I'm kneeling, uh, kneeling down. Mm -hmm. National TV, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not just for national TV. We're going to take this home as well. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Um, a better sorry. I've said sorry. Mm -mm, not that kind of sorry. You just threw that one at him. Mm -hmm. From heart. my heart. Sorry. Uh, Mima, mm. I am flabbergasted. Sir. Flabbergasted. You need to embrace her now. Okay. And But okay. before you do that, I need you to tell us what is the way forward, what and what you are going so to I be doing. Stand up, not yet. Just after you tell us what you are going to do with him and me from this point on. I promise to be a good wife. Oh, good. But only if he changed and he be a change. good husband. He will be. He will be. Okay. Hmm? Sir, over to you now. Uh, Mima, I am flabbergasted. Mm. Evelyn, Evelyn High Chief Makata. Mm -hmm. You know I love you. This is not how it started. My baby, my love. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> I also swallow my anger. Yes. Swallow my pride. Yes. Because I love my family. That's good. Oh. Adam Nobi. Adam Nobi. Adam Nobi. Let me give you to go. Mm. Facebook. Mm. Instagram. <laughs> and Twitter. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing you will not see in the house of Mima. There you have it. The process has started. This is just the beginning. We are going to be bringing to you more and more and updates about their story and the progress that they make as we work with them. As much as possible, you know, I'd like to even remind caregivers out there, counselors out there, people that those that have been abused come to, please and please do not blame them for the abuse. Do not make them feel they, like they're useless and worthless for, for surviving and for coming to you. Do not turn them back. Do not make them feel bad about it because it's already bad. So as much as possible, be confidential. Give them the support they need. Don't take decisions on their behalf. You can't be the one to go and take a divorce on their behalf. Let them come to it. Identify the fact that they should know what is even abuse, what they term as abuse. Find out their own definition of abuse and use that to explain to them what the true position of an abused person is. Gradually, you can then make them see the problem with the situation and help them through it. Because information reaching me tells me that many counselors out there, many people that you know, people that have been abused rush to always have, you know, one mis make one mistake or the other. We have policemen that want to sleep with women that come to report abuse to them. You have, you have, you even have spiritual leaders. You have 
older people that you are supposed to trust and they are, they are supposed to, you know, help you out of this situation. You go to them and what they do is exploit you instead. Therefore, I want to appeal to all of you and I want to encourage you today to help someone in need. You know, you can always reach me. Send me a message, send me an email, reach me on social media. I would definitely be there to help you through it. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Before we went on the break, we were dealing with the issue of domestic violence. I pointed out that there are different forms of it. You know, many people are going through it without even knowing that they're going through domestic violence. Of course, you have emotional abuse where this person chips at your emotions, your feelings, and makes you feel worthless. Where, you know, continuously and gradually this person is brainwashing you into believing that without him or her, you cannot function. You can, nobody else is going to treat, treat you well except them. And then you also have situations where you are comparing yourself with your friends, your neighbors, trying to say, okay, since my own is just one slap, there is no problem. It's better than my neighbor's own. So um, exp expanding on that now, I'm um, bringing us to our situation room. And we're going to be getting the opinions of my team members what do they think? What do they advise? Ruth, let's start with you. Domestic violence. You know, over and over again, we've been talking about um, um, husbands beating their wives. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know, all the whole, I was like, let me even look at this thing. Like, is it tilted just to one angle? And then, you know, I, I got to read and know that wives beat their husband right. now That's you know true. you know yeah, yeah wives yeah, exactly. they call it yeah domestic violence against men mm -hmm. you know and then I, I i i got to read and i discovered that one in four men are physically abused all over Stop like if you it. count one <laughs> two three the fourth man the wife is, is that high yes mm -hmm. and then i saw one in seven men mm -hmm. are severely physically beaten ah. you know Don't and then yes that. and then one in ten men are raped or physically violated. Oh, yes, wow. one in ten men. Yes. And then I, yes. Mm. And then I still, you know, found more that one in eighteen men mm. are severely injured. So like this thing has its own stages, you understand? And then I was I wanted to know more to just go, you know, I always come and give you guys statistics in the house. So I I, I now um, discover that one report in 2015 said as against 2007, mm. um, wives and um, girlfriends that were convicted, you know, was um, 1,840. But as of 2015, it's skyrocketed to 5,650 wives and uh, girlfriends, you know, jump. that's, yeah. you know, that's so women, jump. and then bringing it down home here, I said, Kai, this is like, you know, outside the country, let me look at what's happening, yeah, you know, and then I discovered that, and there's this case in Benue State here of one John Ajene, that the wife chopped off the husband's manhood. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you I've know, seen that before. You chop it with the, uh, no, uh, like uh, ripped it off, and then you know, for what was the reason that um, he was um, seeing another lady, and mm. that was the way. And then there's this one of yes, yes, you know, infidelity is even still okay. Like mm. okay, if this one chopped off. Now there's this one um, Lekon Ido. The wife chopped off the husband's manhood for not providing for the family. Oh, wow. What? Now, <laughs> see, the truth is, before all these things are like this, there's been little, you know, like that abuse, you know, mm -hmm. and all of that. It starts um, from verbal, somewhere. It starts from somewhere. And then this man that um, they said, um, one um, um, Israel Obi, the wife boiled vegetable oil very hot and poured it on the oh husband. Oh, my God. You know? So there are so many, like, I don't want to keep saying it because mm -hmm. I was but reading and I got emotional. So you know? And then... Yeah. And this man was so nice. That's the Israel. He was so cool and okay with it. What? Went to the hospital. The neighbors took him to the hospital. He got better. He told them they should bring his wife. It's his okay. wife. I'm telling you the gospel truth. <laughs> it's his wife. They should bring the wife. That everything is fine. They got better. He got mm. discharged. They came home. Well, and then you, yeah. this thing continued. Um, and the woman, after a month, stabbed the same husband oh. with hot vegetable oil. On. Okay. So, like, ma'am, this thing, it's, 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 it's you know, mm. you know. Yeah. Let me tell you mm. something. All these things, if you notice, I'm quiet. Because it's because you are in the. Osas is let me talk. Uh, Osas. Malam Ajebo. Oh, yeah, now let's, let's let him talk. talk. You said Malam. You are listening. Malam. 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 You are calm today. So just talk. Today. Flow. Mm. But see, I'm just surprised. Yeah, if you like, you'll be surprised. That's your own. Osas, flow. Let me hear what you have to say. So, 
I'm telling you that uh, all these statistics or whatever I give you, they are bullshit. Are you serious? <laughs> Should yes. I give you the link? For a girl link. Yes. These human beings are real, no like... put the link there. Mm -mm. The pictures are <laughs> there, Osas. Excuse me, excuse me, forget picture. Osas, are you trying to say... A man can never be No, no, Osas, no, you don't have to be molested. No, Osas, no, never. It's never. Any man that is molested is not a man. What, what do you so mean? I was sitting on a woman carrying something to come and remove my teeth for what? You are a It's not possible. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Why is it like this? Yeah. He's yeah. not going to yeah. hurt yeah. you. Yeah. It just happens. It's yeah. 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 now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they are pressing my remote in my village to be sleeping. Why is Osas just on the mouth? No, 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 no. No, 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 no the women yeah. that are being abused, mm -hmm. you know, and you can easily tell from the women that are abused. Mm. But the men, it's a bit tricky. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a bit tricky well, to yeah. yeah. They have because a, that's true. They're intimidated all the time. Yeah. You can see from their countenance, the confidence as a man is no longer is not man there. Be intimidated. Oh God, oh, why are you using never? Never say never. The the man can never be intimidated. I know they usually intimidate you. That's why I'm talking like that. The truth to be told. You don't okay. think that men can be? I'm not thinking, Mima. <laughs> I know that I know. It's not matter. Oh, you mean never? Come on, please. Mm. This kind of assassin people, mm. they call in public mm. and pretend. Okay. Whether I'm a chink, you don't swear. I'm a poor husband, I'm a poor husband. Do you know me? No, I'm telling you. 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 Yelling in my she ear, know? all sorts of nonsense. Okay, I was saying to you, Ruth, Ruth, you see that? Because she's trying to intimidate me. I was saying to you, Ruth, please, I'm listening. Osas, can you listen to me? I wouldn't need to intimidate you. Osas, I would, I would yeah. just sit on you. That's all I would do. Fine, I'm here. 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 I'm Okay, guys, <laughs> this argument is continuing. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs>